Good morning. Hi. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, listen, you know we talked about that training day. Sorry? Yeah, she said you might be interested. It was a few weeks ago. Well, I'm not. Well, I've booked you in. Well, booked us both in, actually, for today. Howard, I am up to my eyes in patience all day. Precisely. I'll give you a break. Doing what? Learning the art of difficult conversation. I don't think so, do you? Oh, I don't know. You might like it. What, what soul-searching and role-play? Isn't like that. Team bonding. This is a rather nice hotel. Oh, well, why didn't you say? I mean, if you just wanted to, um, get me into the hotel, then... I'm sorry? Well, you needn't have gone to the bother of booking training day. I mean, after all... Emma! Sorry. Oh, forget it. I'll ask somebody else. I'll ask Heston. No, no, I'll go, I'll go. Oh, not on my account. Well, look, as long as there is no prancing about or dressing up or one group hack. Well? Hi. Rowena. And you must be Howard. Nice to meet you. And Dr. Reed, Rowena Cork. Emma's fine. Would you mind just... Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now, let me get this right, and don't help me. This is Nigel, and he's in finance. How do you do? Uh, Sanjeev, local government. Oh. And Colin does recycling. Conversations. We have them all the time, with clients and colleagues and families and friends. Because everything we say is in some way a negotiation, bargaining, Stating our position. Stating the obvious, more like. But of course, some are more difficult than others. So, here's what I call the six degrees. From easy to traumatic. But not you'll notice impossible. Because I don't believe that anything is. OK, guys? Now, let's start with work. Now, what would you call a difficult conversation? Emma. Oh, um, I don't know. Let me see. Um, telling somebody they have cancer? Or that their mother has died? Or that their child has leukaemia? Traumatic, then. Howard? Well, I'm only a manager, of course. Oh, but I'm sure there's something. Asking someone to come on a training day. <laughs> Easy, then. Oh, I don't know. But it's not just degree. There are different types of difficulty that we need to overcome. Perhaps our most common being anger, which arises from conflict. So who is feeling angry today? Emma. Sorry? Would you mind stepping up, please? There we go. Thanks a lot. So I will be the traffic warden, and you will be the driver. Now. She has parked on a double yellow line, but for a very good reason. What would that be, do you think? Patient's had a heart attack. Perfect. Lovely. Now, you stand over there. Excellent. OK. There. You can stick it. Mm, perhaps a little too angry. That was borderline violence. Emma. OK. <laughs> now, I think we can all agree that that was a complete disaster. And we don't want those to happen, do we? So, let's take one of the biggest disasters of all time. The Titanic. Where did it all go wrong? Well, first of all, it didn't break the ice, did it? And why? Because it was going too fast. OK, guys? Right, so you're about to start, and this could get nasty, even dangerous. It's like being on the deck, in the cold, about to jump. And what do you need? Firstly, one of these. What I like to call the life jacket of hope. Hope floats. And we're going to get there. OK, guys? Whatever happens. Well, that was, um... Painful? Sorry. It could have been worse. Could it? I thought you were going to lamp her at one point. 
I was, but, uh, oh, that looks nice. So, how are you and Sam? How are you coping? Oh, you know me. To tell you the truth, I don't think it's really sunk in yet. What? How close he came to dying. How bad he still is. In what way? He's devastated. Totally depressed. And I'm the one who has to get him out of it. Well, if anyone can, you can. <laughs> and you say that. It's not that easy being Mrs. Positive all day with someone who just wishes they were dead. You know, I have to say, I can never understand anyone who can just throw the towel in. Well, not everybody has your military backbone, Howard. No, I've seen soldiers who've been devastated too, in one way or another. And some give up, and some don't. Why is that? Support. And in that respect, Sam's a very lucky man, whether he knows it or not. Very lucky. Hi. Oh. Did I? I don't know how you do. I don't have any choice. You're doing a fantastic job. Am I? Of course you are. You must be proud. Quite the opposite. Why is that? Hi, guys. Oops. Oops. <laughs> mm. So, how do you think it's going? Um, well, I would usually get to assumptions by now and then blockage after lunch. Could be a long afternoon then. Oh, uh, I do this every time. Can I get you anything? Oh, every time. <laughs> So what have you got to be so ashamed about? I'm a fraud. And how's that? I have a husband who nearly died. He's paralysed. But most of the time, all I can think about is you. For two pins, I would go out into reception and book us a room right now. Ah! <sighs> Sauce! <laughs> You've said anything. No! Just took me by surprise, that's all. He wants me to have a life. I don't follow you. Well, not everybody is as traditional as you, Howard. But there are solutions. Come on then, guys, time for blockages. Right, now what about the trickiest of them all? Dilemma. Now, I know that you're just going to love this one. It's always everybody's favourite. Ta-da! <laughs> Casablanca. That famous final scene. Now, Emma, I know that you want to play Ilsa, our glamorous, love-torn heroine. Thank you. And Victor Laszlo, the hero of the Resistance. Nigel, would you? Now, who looks good in a trench coat? Colin. Would you mind? Actually, I think that should be me. Excuse me? Uh, I haven't had a go yet. Well, it's your turn next. He's had two goes already. Sorry, Colin. Okay. Actually, I uh, do quite a good bogey. What kind of weird arrangement is that? It just lets you sleep with anybody who you want. Oh, I'm sorry, but I knew you wouldn't be able to handle it, Howard. No. Just confused, that's all. If it is some kind of open relationship, then what's stopping us? I don't know. It was fine when it was just sex, but with you, it's different. Thank you, Rowena. You've been great. Yes, you really have. Well, I'm not sure you two are really concentrating. <laughs> no, you've helped us both a lot, really. Thank you. Good. Bye. So? So what? So why don't we go straight upstairs, if that's what we all want? Emma, you're the only person that I want to be with. And if it means that I have to share you for now, then so be it. I'm sorry if that sounded a little cold. Oh, it doesn't. Howard, it would be absolutely wonderful. And I am so tired of fighting it, it's almost painful. But? I'm all that Sam has now. I owe him that much, at least. Life jacket of hope. Something like that. Hmm. Just for the record, 
There hasn't been anyone for a year. Not since the accident. Not since you.